difficult to talk here at the light of the infinite. Um, right now, we're going to go in quickly on some Torahs from Rav Itra Meyer Morgenstern, Biyam Dar Kecha, an amazing, amazing book through the whole entire year, but specifically going through the work of uh, Rosh Hashanah and Elul. My name is Eliel Pereira. I'm really excited to be with you today and uh, to enjoy this journey together. A little bit of preparation for the amazing day that's coming upon us, Bezat Hashem. So again, we're in the Sefer Biyam Dar Kecha, and I'm just going to go in. I'm going to mix. I'm going to try my best to keep as close to that book as possible. But I did just learn it, so I'm going to flow a little bit uh, on a different pace. So we're going to get started with what is Rosh Hashanah. On Rosh Hashanah, we have an opportunity that the whole entire world is being recreated completely. Every single creation, all of the world, all of the beings, everything that Hashem created is being renewed and being recreated to the, to the, to the state that it was in the creation of the world. Before the creation of the world, we have to understand what there was. All there was was the light of Hashem. Everything was the light of the Ein Sof, the light of infinite, as we are here today. I now amazingly joined on this fitting topic. And when Hashem wanted to create the world, so then Hashem constricted His light, meaning He hid the reality that everything is godliness. Everything is that light of Hashem. And then there was creations, that these creations were created with the ability already to be tested at the point where am I a separate creation to myself, or am I unified uh, together and I know that I am one with Hashem, and, and that all I, all, I need, all I need is to be constantly connected to Hashem at my root. And the work is right now, is this is where we're getting tested. We're getting tested now that I'm a creation, now that there was a separation between me and Hashem, is it now a point where I'm going to live according to that reality, where I look at everything externality and I think that everything is, is, uh, has power by itself, that the person coming to annoy me is really him, or do I know that it's the light of Hashem? The question is, how much do I live that reality? So there's two stages here. There's two stages on living the reality that really Hashem is the, is the end-all being, the end-all uh, be-all of creation, that everything that is created from the food that I eat to the people that I interact with, the table and the house that I live in, everything that I have, everything that I experience can only exist by way of the spark of Hashem that's inside it. This is the secret of, of Nitzotzot, sparks of the light of the infinite that came down into the world and they're giving existence to the world at any given time. So the two levels are like this. The first level is that the person looks at the externality, the, the reality of this world that we see with our eyes, with our physical eyes. And since in our eyes we can't see the Shefa, the abundance that Hashem is bringing into the world and the light that is coming to bring life and existence to every single creation at any given time, since our eyes can't see this, then the creation or us, then we feel that we have our own reality or the world that we're, uh, that we're engaged with has its own reality separate from Hashem. And in that kind of sense, then a person for sure recognizes that Hashem created the world, and he feels and he knows that Hashem is, 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 is leading the world. But he's living as if, I have my life, I have my own reality, this world has its own reality, this is the real world. And then there's Torah, and I have to listen to Torah, so I keep Shabbat, and I do mitzvot, and this whole entire uh, calculation, right? But first things first, I have my reality, I have, I have me, me that I need to worry about, and me that I need to take care of. On this level, a person saying, now that the world was created, Hashem created a world. Hashem gave power to those creations to act and to, and to live out in the world according to His will. I recognize that it's His will over everything, and I recognize that Hashem Barach gave us Torah, and He's ruling the world, and He leads the world. But He created me, and now I have a responsibility to act and to, to be the best of my, of my powers. When a person does this, this is obviously a good level that we should all be at, and we need this level, but we need to go deeper. We need to go deeper, and the next level is the higher level where the person understands and feels that at no point at all do I have my own, my own importance, my own essence that is, that is in existence by itself, separate from Hashem. 
because I recognize and I look at everything at the internal aspect and I understand that the whole entire creation is only in existence and only getting light from Hashem Yitbarach at any given time that His light, this light of the infinite is being revealed to the creations and giving existence to them at all points and since that is the case and I don't have any reality to myself and neither do any of the creations and they're not their own individual thing since that's the case that they receive their life force from Hashem at any given moment, then in the depth of everything that I experience in life, they then don't have any reality to themselves. And since that's the, pro that's the whole entire idea, the power that was given to them is the light of Hashem that is enclosed inside of them, but it's not from them themselves. It's just deposited by them, and they are a tool with power to reveal the light through them into the world, the light of Hashem. So this is where a person gets tested. A person gets tested, how much do I live the fact that, which world am I in? Am I looking at the externalities of life, meaning that there's creations, and since there was creations, that means that they have their own power, and they have their own will, and they decide what they're going to do, and they're the ones that are hurting me, and this situation is against me, or do I live the internal aspect that everything receives its life at any given second, any moment that they're, any situation that they're in? It's everything is coming from Hashem, and I nullify myself to that, and I look at everything as the hand of Hashem, and I look at the internal aspect. This is the test. This is exactly what's going on. Does a person say that I want to live according to Elohim? I want to live according to the name of nature, meaning that how the world goes, that's what the world is. Or do I want to look at the name of Yud Vavke, that Hashem is the one that's putting in life force and ruling everything and, and completely leading anything at any given point. This is exactly the test. This is what we are trying to figure out. This is where we're going deeper into. And since Yom, Yom Adin, this day of creation, the sixth day of creation, the day that Adam was created was the day that ego came into the world and a separate being with the ability to think that he has his own power and his own existence. So this is the day that we are being tested to see how do we align? How are we setting up the whole entire year now? Am I going to be setting from the head of the year a mindset that I have my own life and I listen to Hashem, but it's uh, something that I apply to my life? Or is my whole entire life chasing after Hashem, being close to Him so I can be nullified and included inside His amazing infinite life and just be a tool to reveal His word and His godliness into this world? And that then becomes the whole end-all be-all of my life and that's the end-all be-all of all of my experiences in life. So when someone annoys me or someone uh, gives me a good uh, a raise or a promotion and I have success in life, I realize it's all Hashem. And when I fail in life, I realize it's all Hashem. And I don't get too upset about anything and I don't get too happy and too excited about anything and worried and worked out. I realize that it's all a Kedush Baruch Hu. This is the test of the man that we're coming into on Rosh Hashanah. Am I a separate creation or am I one with Hashem and I'm just a tool and extension of His revelation in this world? So, the first goal in all of this work and this recognition is to take this recognition and the first step is to take upon myself the kingship of Hashem onto me. I want to take upon His mitzvot. I want to listen to the Torah. I want to live according to the Torah. I want to live according to the recognition that everything is like a Baruch Hu. Everything is Hashem. Listen to the rabbis trying to listen to the Torah as best as I can. That is the first step. Hashem created a world that we feel separate. So the first step, that is the natural reality, that the first step of me feeling separate is that now I choose to crown Hashem over everything I do in the world and I feel that even though I know I'm in a world where it appears that I'm separate I completely take upon myself the whole entire will of Kedosh Baruch Hu, the will of Hashem which is the Torah and which is the mitzvot and which is all the tefillot and listening to the Chachamim and I want to go deeper and deeper in loving every single Jew and crowning my friend over me this is the main test to begin with to begin with this is where we need to start from I'm a separate being in a world. This is how it appears. I know it's not the ultimate truth, but it's the reality that I live in and Hashem wanted me to be in that reality. When that's the case, then at least in that recognition, I'm going to take upon myself the Torah and the mitzvot and I'm going to live according to that. Because Hashem is everything. He created everything. He's giving existence to everything and everything is dependent on the Kaddish So then therefore, that must mean that He is the King. 
Hashem is the king and our job is to crown the king upon us. And if Hashem is everything and he is the king, how is it possible that me, that I'm a creator, I can be now asking to be included in him? So what did Hashem do? Hashem gave us the ability to choose as a separate, so to feel, so to say, a feeling of a separate being, separate entity. Now I have a choice to choose from love and from a desire to have dveku, to cling to Hashem completely. Now, when I come as a creation in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I'm coming to crown Hashem upon me, and I say, I want Hashem as my king. Meaning, I don't want to feel separate. I don't want to feel like I'm, I have power by myself, and I have some responsibility, and I have everything's on my shoulders, and all my success is dependent on me, and all of my failures are dependent on me. And I just receive power from Hashem. Rather, I want a connection with Him in the deepest way possible. A connection of inclusion in Him and dvekut with Him. I want to feel it and I want to live it. This internal truth that the whole entire reality that I'm experiencing in this world and in my life, my soul that is engaging with this physical world, everything is only an extension of the light of Hashem Barach. And you say to Hashem, Otcha malki, ani lo ozev, you my king, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving you at all. Ki ani yodea sherak ata mitziyut amitit. I know that you're the only true reality. Ve'ilu kol ha-yeshud shel ha-olam, ze sheke vera, and all of the ego, and all of the me, and the eye of this world is just a sheker, it's lie, it's vanity, it's ra, it's evil at its core. Ve'ani bocher b'chaim u'v'tov u'v'emet. I am choosing life, I am choosing good, and I'm choosing the truth from a place of a desire, a burning passion of love and a choice to crown you, Hashem, over me and all that I do and to recognize that it's all you, that you are it all, everything is you. And by way of this, the shlemut, the tachlit shlemut, the end all be all, the whole entire purpose that a creation and the creation itself was brought into existence is so that what the, ta- the Balatanya taught us, Hashem has a burning passion, a desire that He will have a place to dwell down here in the lower worlds. When I make space and I tell Hashem, I'm crowning you over me, and I'm becoming a vehicle for your expression in this world, so then I'm giving a place for Hashem to dwell within me and to act within me. Now the deeper way, the deeper work, is to go into bitul, to go into complete selflessness and nullification and be included into Hashem. Not only that I take upon myself the Torah and Olman Chut Shamayim, that's the external aspect of it, which is extremely important. The actions say a lot about the internal will. But the internal will, the internal will, is that I go up to a higher, a higher level of avoda, a higher level of service of Hashem, and then I scream out to Hashem, Shabbat in the truth, in all truth, internally in me, I don't at all want to be separate from you. I don't want to be separate. I don't want to have my own being. I want to have complete connection. I want to be included with you. I want to be nullified to your light because I know that you are the only true reality in the world. And this is the internal actions and intentions of the shofar. This is what we're doing when we come to the shofar. We're screaming out to Hashem with a recognition that the person can be included into Hashem, meaning I can feel Hashem so strongly until I completely forget about this reality of myself, of this world, and I don't feel myself separate from Hashem. Rather, I become clinging to Him in the end all be all, the tachli, the purpose of feeling and comprehension and, and reaching this asaga, this, this reality, of this, this consciousness, until I feel completely a part of, up, of Hashem from up above. Meaning that I don't feel myself separate just as a vessel and a tool to reveal His light in this world, that Hashem is acting by way of me and in illuminating the whole entire world and bringing down Shefa abundance through me with His life and His light in order to reveal by way of me His malchut, His kingship in the world, that it's all Him and nothing else.
And this is the whole entire idea of the Shofar. It's a scream out to Hashem, a scream with no words. Our will is to have you as our king, and we can't do it without your, your face shining down on us, without your countenance coming down on us. And this is what we're screaming. Fortunate is the nation that knows the Hashem. They know the call of the Shofar of Hashem, the scream of Hashem. In the face of in the light of his face, they shall walk. Yodei Torah, what does it mean that they, they know the call of the Shofar? Meaning that they feel when they scream out in the time of the Tkiah, the time of the Shofar, again and again, our will is to live completely the reality that you are our king. And even though you created us with an ego and with some feeling that we are alone, I don't want that. I only want you, Hashem. And I don't have any desire for my ego or for my selfness. I don't want that. Our will is that we will completely be nullified in front of you and you will rule over us completely. And then we are revealing the life and the love and the loyalty of the king and our emunah in him and even... It could be that I stay feeling like I'm my own kind of person. I have my own reality. I don't really want that. I don't want to leave the king at all. And then Hashem brings down his love onto us. Hashem be'o panecha yalichun. Hashem, in your light we shall walk. And then the light of Abaya, the light of Yuki Vavke is revealed to us. And we feel his, his reality. We feel it so clearly. And we have dveku to Hashem until we feel that we don't really have an ego. All we feel and all we sense and all we have that is tangible reality to us is that we're included into Hashem and we're nullified in Him. And that's what it means to walk with the light of Hashem. So just now, I'm going to walk us in through a short meditation, maybe just some ideas. We could read it deeper in the Torah. We could go from the book. But it's laid out for us amazingly in a chart here. In this chart, you can find I made a short a uh, piece about the shofar, you can check it out in two chassids in a pod. But just quickly to walk us through, we have three sets of blowings of the shofar. The first is called tashrat, it is tikiya, shvarim, terura, tikiya. Tikiya is the long flat sign, dat, and shvarim is dat, 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 and then terura is nine voices of dat, 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 and then we have one single voice again. The first tikiya that we do. Here we are elevating ourselves in the whole entire creation. We're screaming out to Hashem, we want you to be the king. We want you to be with us. We don't want to be separate from you. We want to feel you. And we're screaming out and we're elevating into the point where we are included into Hashem and we're completely nullified into Him. And then we get to the Shvarim, the three voices. Now the Shefa, Hashem comes to check, who is this person that's calling out and wants my light? Let's check how he is. The Deen is aroused. And here we have to have intentions and we have to arouse within us to receive a burning passion to do the will of Hashem, to show Him that we have Yirat Shamayim, we see Him with consciousness, we recognize that He is the King. And we recognize that everything is only happening by way of the power of Hashem. It's all His light and we have no, no being of ourselves. We're showing Him by our burning passion that we're deserving of the light of, his, of, his, of, of Hashem and we want to live it out in expression, but we are nullifying ourselves and we have a burning passion to receive. Then we go into Teruah, the nine long voices. Here you have intention that even though we, that we want to have Yirat Shamayim, we want to have fear of Hashem, we want to have awe of Hashem, with that we are asking that it will be in a sweet way that Hashem Barach will act with us with rachamim, with mercy, and with love, with ahava, with chesed. And Hashem Barach starts to have mercy on us and starts to sweeten up the judgments upon us. And then we get into the last tikiyah, which is the work of Chochmah, Bina, and Dad. On the first level, while hearing this last tikiyah, we have to have in mind during the first part the Chochmah to arouse in our hearts to receive the complete notion of nullifying myself, my selflessness to Hashem, to be included in Him, Bina, to arouse and to receive a burning passion and a logging to serve Hashem and to be connected to Hashem at the core. And then we go into Dat, and then the work of Dat is to take the power of knowing that I'm nullified to Hashem 
and that I have a burning passion to serve him properly and loyally and to go with this knowledge into my actions to be successful in feeling with them that I want to act properly according to the will of Hashem with Allah and with Torah and with the advice of the rabbis. And then we get into the second set of the Shofarot which is, which is Tashat, Tikiyah, Shvarim and Tikiyah again. The first Tikiyah is Chesed. While hearing it, we want to, as we're saying this, the shofarot are being blown here in Tzfat, in the streets of Tzfat. While we hear that first tikiyah in the second set of the shofarot, we want to arouse up in ourselves to receive the love of Hashem Barach. Then we go into shvarim, the three voices, and we hear gvura. We want to arouse and feel upon ourselves yirat shamayim, the awe of Hashem, and then we go into the Tikiyah again, and we have Tiferet. Tiferet, I want to arouse and receive upon myself Dvekut, that I'm clinging to the essence of Hashem, that essence that can't be expressed, the essence that I only feel intentionally, inter internally, that only I know what it is. I reach that point where I'm clinging to Hashem at the core. And then we have the last set, which is Tikiyah, Teruah, and Tikiyah. And here we're working from the lower parts of Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and Malchut, Netzach, I have in mind during that first tikiyah to arouse and to receive upon myself the power of akshanut, the power of, of holy stubbornness, of being principled, as Rabbi Doj would say, being principled and having the tenacity to fight against the Yetzirah and to not let him overcome me. I'm going to stand strong against all of his tests. And then I go into tiruah. Tiruah again is the ta 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 the nine, the nine voices. And I feel the power of Hod. I want to arouse and receive upon myself the power to recognize and to admit and to be grateful on the truth that everything is from Hashem, my successes and also my failures. Once the action was done and was brought into the world, it was the will of Hashem. And I nullify myself to that recognition and I have complete recognition and I, and I admit that everything is done by the power of Hashem. And then we go into the last Tikiyah of Rosh Hashanah. And that Tikiyah is Yesod and Malchut. I want to not only arouse upon myself to feel and to receive a complete connection to Hashem Barach, meaning that I want to take a complete new covenant and make a brand new covenant, a Brit with Hashem from the place of Yesod and to connect everything that's going on in my reality back to Hashem, meaning to see His hand and His light and everything that I go through in any situation, in any, any time. And then I also want to take upon myself all Malchut Shamayim, to receive upon myself the yoke of Hashem, to take upon myself the Alachot, and to take upon everything that I need to do, and to take upon the word of Hashem and to live it out into this world with Emunah. This is the work of Rosh Hashanah by way of the Shofar, as brought down by the students of Rabbi Itchemeyer Morgenstern, Shlita, the Tzadik, and the Gaon, sitting in Yerushalayim. Biyam Dar can be purchased online. Baruch Hashem. I hope everyone gets blessed to be able to completely come to Rosh Hashanah with a little bit more light. This shiur will be posted onto lightofinfinite.com. You will be able to see it again to take notes. Also, you have a guide on two chassids in, uh, two chassids in a pod, which is a podcast that I do with a dear friend, Alvidan, here from Tzfat. Um, I just started a new YouTube channel, Eliyahu Pereira. I would love if you could subscribe, subscribe there. My main goal on that channel is to be going through Biyam Darkecha, which there is an all-year book dealing with eating and sleeping and a whole bunch of different topics, Torah, Tefillah. There is the different Biyam Darkechahs going around the holidays, Elul and Tishrei, Yom Kippur, and there's going to be a lot of Torah that I'm going to be trying with the help of Hashem, completely nullifying myself as much as I can to Hashem with a burning passion to do the best that I can and bring it out in Da to this world so that all the light that I've been receiving here in the amazing city of Tzfat and the amazing, amazing land that is Eretz Yisrael, Yerushalayim, Yerush Kodesh, may we all be lucky to, to take, take from these lights and bring it into a new year with a recognition that Hashem is the king, Hashem is at the core of everything. When I eat, the eating can make me forget Hashem or the sparks of Hashem that are giving life and taste and food and, and vitamins inside that food can bring me closer and closer so that every single thing that I go through in life, I am experiencing Hashem at my core and I'm not at all distracted from that reality. I'm tapping in at any given moment. The more we do this, 
the more our life gets better, the more emuna we have when we're clinging to the king, you should feel completely tranquil and calm at your core that nothing can go wrong because Melech Malchea Melachim Hashem Baruchu is ruling over us and he's leading us exactly where he wants to go. And the more we tap into us, that is the Tachlit of Emuna and Shlemut. Bezat Hashem, I bless us all. The light of Hashem, the light of infinite. Or in Sof, Baruchu, that we'll be able to go into Rosh Hashanah and have complete ameliorated Sweden judgments over us and be completely tranquil in the upcoming year that nothing can affect us. Am Yisrael, we're not afraid of anything. The world is turning up. We're getting closer to the times of Mashiach. The Torahs are getting out there. The Tzadikim are doing their work. Am Yisrael is doing their work. We need to cling to our friends, our family, our communities. Connect more to Am Yisrael. Help every single Jew come closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Share Torah as much as we can. Support Torah as much as we can. Spread the word of Hashem as much as we can. Because we need everyone on board. We need all of Am Yisrael to come up together to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in Yerushalayim and HaKadosh with the Binyan Bet HaMikdash and Mashiach Tzidkenu B'Mera V'Yamenu Amen V'Amen Shana Tova Umetuka